Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how to create a text-to-speech application in Python. We will be using Google's text-to-speech engine. So let's get started. First, open your Visual Studio Code or any other ID that you want. And let me close this. Create a new file. This will work with, it's just a simple Python file, so it will work with any ID that you are using. So create a new file first. Let's call it tts.py and I'll save it in desktop. So first we need to use the GTTS class from Google's text-to-speech library. So you might not have this installed. So to install this, open your command prompt and I have Python 3. So I'll install it using pip install GTTS. I already have this installed, so it will, it will say already installed. But in your case, it might not be installed. So as you can see, it is saying requirement already satisfied. But in your case, it will be installed. Okay. But and to play sound, you also need to install play sound package. So install these two. As you can see, it's already installed in my case. So use these two commands to install GTTS and place out. So after they are installed, this will be work fine. And then from play sound, you need to import play sound. And also you need to import temp file and you need to import OS. So our import is complete. Now we just need to convert it to text to speech. So let's say our text is hello how are you all right and we need to convert it to speech so how do you do it okay so first let's create a function that will do tts all right it will take uh text and let's initialize an object tts object To play audio using a text, first you need to create a temp file that will contain that audio. So let's say temp file dot name temporary file, and it will be what what do you want it to be? So it will be a dot mp3 file, and set delete equals to false. So if you set delete equals to true, the temp file will be deleted after the audio file is closed. So let's not do that for now. We are saving our text to speech audio to this file. And after this, we will return the file path. Now in this, let's pass this. And we can finally play sound and we just, need to part, we just need to pass the file path into this and after it is done we can remove the file okay so let's run this and let's see what happens okay in line 16 we have an error that says cannot specify extra characters after a string closed in quotation marks so this error is occurring because this is not the absolute file path name so what we need to do is before closing and anything else we need to say file url equals to we need to use this in the beginning and we need to get the absolute path the absolute path of temp file dot name And then return file your this. Okay, let's try to run this now. Hello, how are you? So as you can see, hello, how are you? It's played very well now. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. 